like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Action. Who are we? Carbonation. What is carbonation? The Christ conscious. Who are you? Angels, angels of the Most High, divine angels of light. Who am I? The Honorable Master Teacher Nature Boy, Commander in Chief of the Earth Plane, my highest self. Who am I? Queen Eliana. All these rappers, all these people. No, you're programmed by your master. That's who you're programmed by. You know, it's not about pro. It's not about worshiping no one. Worship is to have an action in truth, to live in action in truth. What do you? Your concept of worship is being in church and saying Hallelujah, yes Lord, ah, and screaming. I'm not, oh no, I love computers. I love the electronics and how technology is being used today. I'm all for it. I'm all for the AIs and the robots. I love them. Oh, my program is the Elysio Bishop. Who's your programmer? I bet you even know his name. But he's got you on a good program. He's got you on a good program. You're being really obedient to your programmer. Good job. But as I continue, the mindset that you are expressing through these comments or you just listening, the thoughts that you're having, the people not talking but agreeing, you being scared and not caring what people think, you being insecure about how you look. Oh, poor child. This person thinks you're your own mind. Okay, so for your own mind, would you think that um, as a child from zero to seven, were you programmed by your external reality? This is a product of nature versus nurture, um, a physi physiological practice of a, um, and tests have been done upon what programs and makes people submissive to certain factors or belief systems when it comes to um, us learning English. When we learned English, we was, li we, was sat we was living and we was speaking a whole nother language, a language that came from our native tongue, but they had to whip your ass they had to break apart your families. They had to break the black woman and rape the black man and input that, that spirit of ignorance within you so that you can start to adapt and submit yourself to the will of your lower self. Black people, we have fallen so low into ignorance of our lower self, we can't even question our lower self. It starts with the question, how did I get here? How did I get here? Okay, you can choose different from your, <laughs> from you becoming a child from an adult. But aren't your choices still regulated in the categories that the white supremacy system, your lower self, has given you the options of? Because once the Messiah said, you know what, I beat the game of white supremacy, I'm leaving. I got my backpack. I'm gone. I'm not about to be here no more. And went into nature and started to proclaim pure, enlightened, high frequency thought forms off of a mountain. Not asking no one to come with him. But still, and he still says he's God. Still proclaiming the truth. I am God. But rather than us saying that, rather than us speaking, this is why we don't be talk, giving our pearls to swine. So sad. It really is sad. It really is sad. Just to see y'all comments.
how am I choosing to be in white supremacy? That doesn't make sense. I believe you're projecting and you're talking about yourself. And you're choosing to be a victim because as me, I take responsibility for my life. I don't point the finger at nobody and blame them and say I have narcissism syndrome or I have I have PTSD. I don't understand those terms. I take accountability for the things I go through in life and seem, oh, I was a vibrational match for that. I place myself in the system of my lower self so that I can beat the game and find my programmer and find the truth, find the Messiah so that I can elevate this realm of existence. And my, 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 mental, my mental is enlightened and it's expanding the boundaries of what these boxes they put around us since we were born labels you only are changing yourself into still more labels of what the lower self has given you categories to place yourself in you're not thinking outside of the box you know what thinking outside of the box looks like it looks like going into the jungle on top of a mountain and proclaiming your truth and your life and living your life out loud online for all to see. Proclaiming the kingdom, announcing with due emphasis that the kingdom of God is here, the Messiah is here, and all truth and all knees shall bow in front of the presence of God because what you are serving, you're not serving God because it's going against the natural essence and the natural cosmic force and compelling force of nature. Your DNA is showing that you have to live a different way, but still you're going against that. And I'm all for the robots and AI because all AI is going to reveal and show to us is that humans on this earth today are not living in tune with nature. And if they keep living at this rate from 10 to 20 years, we will not have any farming no more farming, no more food. We will not have any water. We will, global warming would start to de maximum, be maximum to a, to a degree where the surface of the earth is so hot and burning up because we are living in our body. We are living in the body of God. And by us living in the body of God, we have to understand what it means to live in harmony with God. The system that we live in today, which is Babylon, the United States of America, uh, does not allow us to connect to nature. Our minds are so much hijacked and so much distractions we can't even question or even start to 